join in on the debate. I am very much the one to go for the center of the sandwich, eat the best part first, and then leave the crust for last, right? I try to just do it all in one bite. <laughs> <laughs> one fell swoop. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I just picture like a cartoon character, right? Just going, boop. Yeah. <laughs> Well, people might be eating a lot of sandwiches today for Easter, right? Easter, you get that yeah. ham. Uh, I don't know, Easter cheese, are you familiar with Easter cheese? Yes. Yes, Easter cheese, yeah. that's, a, that's a favorite, the, the beaded horseradish yeah. and stuff like that. So, oh, I can't wait for all the goods, all the I'm goods. I'm ready. Uh, and Bring this morning, uh, some kids are going to be finding their Easter baskets in a little bit of a fog. Okay. So, uh, we have a dense fog advisory stretched along I-80. So, we're talking Mercer, Venango, Clarion, and Jefferson counties. This is where we've been seeing the, the most dense fog, although there are some pockets that do work south of that. But you can see here the visibility are a quarter mile or less right into Youngstown up towards Cleveland. Now, uh, 10 miles is considered uh, good visibility or as good as it gets when it comes to, to seeing, not cloud cover, but when it comes to seeing. And you can see here that uh, most of our visibilities are, are over, over two miles until you get down to Oakland, Maryland, where we have a half mile of visibility. Now, when it comes to the conditions around, clouds are what most of us are seeing and potentially a little light drizzle in there. Temperatures low to mid 40s, but Overall, a, a mild start to this Easter Sunday and check out this view. This is from Mount Washington and you can see in the background some breaks in those clouds. So a little sunshine is going to try to work out at times today, but a, a beautiful shot here. Nice job, Annie. And he rocks that camera. 45 degrees, calm winds, the humidity at 90%. And when it comes to this Easter Sunday, more clouds than anything else, this is going to be one of the drier days in this entire forecast. So here's how it works out. There's a little activity back to the west. These storms are likely going to stay to the south, although they could skirt uh, along 68. So if you're down into Monongalia County, if you're into Preston, Garrett counties, this is where you run the chance for some of those showers this morning, but a, a passing shower not out of the equation, but most of us looking at a mostly cloudy day today. Later this evening, we see our next batch of rain moving in potentially overnight, even some rumbles of thunder as this cuts through. But our best chance to see strong to severe thunderstorms isn't until Tuesday. So we get an early shower tomorrow, a late area of rain tomorrow evening and then Tuesday we get these waves of precipitation and some of these could come with some stronger storms attached, especially Pittsburgh and southward. That's why Tuesday is going to be a first alert weather day because of the potential for scattered strong to severe thunderstorms with damaging winds being the greatest threat. So that's one of the big things we're watching for there. But for this Easter Sunday, more clouds and sunshine. This morning, of course, we're dealing with some of that fog temperatures topping off near 60 degrees and over the next seven days uh, tomorrow, some early showers and some late showers with some dry time in between Tuesday, a first alert weather day for those thunderstorms and then our temperatures fall with some rain and snow not out of the question by the time we get into Thursday and some spotty rain and snow Friday as we head towards the Pirates home opener.